In this video, we can talk about what is class and what is method. So we will first learn the sales post Apex programming. Okay. Apex is, is all about your development, right? When you say development, most of it is Apex and uh, rest of it is, uh, is the UI part where we will be learning about the lightning web component. Okay. So next few videos. We will just learn the Salesforce Apex language, which is the backend language that we write as a developer. And initial few videos will be like very, very basics of Salesforce Apex language, where we're going to talk about what is Apex and, uh, you know, every single small, small keyword variables, all these things. All right. So let's get started. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is method and what is class. In the last video, we have discussed what is class and we have written a class called hello world let me just open it up how to open the class go to file open and this is the class double click so this is the class that i have written okay this is called signature of a class signature means this is how you write a class you're writing a script or you're writing a code so you cannot uh, you cannot even add a semicolon also which is not matching, which is not going with the syntax. You have to follow the syntax if you're writing some script. That's why we say that we are learning a language. So Apex is nothing but a language. All right. And anything we write in the code should have a meaning. Right. So this is called signature public class, the class name. This is how we write the class. I'm going to tell you all these words like what is public, what is class and all the other words. Theoretically, let's understand what is class and what is method and why do we need to write classes, Apex classes. Apex classes is where you as a developer write the code, write the business logic to automate something in the backend. If you remember the last requirement that we discussed, the requirement was whenever you insert a new lead, it should check, the system should check whether it is a duplicate lead or not based on the mobile number suppose. Now, this is a functionality. Whenever a lead is getting inserted, you are going to write one Apex logic which will fire immediately and which will check the phone number that you are entering for the lead is a duplicate. I mean, do we have any record with the same phone number if it is error? So, so that's a business logic. Now, the logic you would be writing in the in the class. Now, your class, your Apex class will have many methods. What is methods? One class will have multiple methods and each method will have a functionality. Think in this way. Suppose in lead object, I want a couple of functionalities. One, this duplicate check. Second, let's say whenever a lead gets uh, updated, the owner should get notified. Hey, your lead has been updated and this is the old value. This is the new value. And for that, suppose you have written some business logic in the Apex, right? And let's say whenever a lead is getting deleted, the owner manager should get an email saying, hey, this lead was deleted, owned by Rajesh Chatterjee. So my manager should get the email. Suppose like that, you have 10 different functionalities, which you have to go and define in your Apex class. So in this case, you as a developer will write one Apex class called, let's say, lead handler. Okay, and in that Apex class, you'll write 10 different methods and each method will have the business logic of whatever you have to perform, right? So let's say for duplicate check, you're going to create a method called dup check. And for letting the manager know that the record has been deleted, let's say you have another method called um, record deletions right let's say record deletion a name could be anything okay and name should be meaningful by the way you can't give any name you want like test and all right the name should define what kind of business logic that you're holding inside the method you got it so one class may have multiple methods inside it methods is something which will hold the business logic you cannot directly go and write the logic here inside the class class is the blueprint which will consist of multiple methods and each method will have the business logic that you want to perform 
methods are uh, are something like you know reusable inside apex class so let's say you have written a method called dupe check and whenever you create a, a an account you have to check whether the account is duplicate or not whenever you create an opportunity you have to check whether the opportunity is duplicate or not so in this case you might have to reuse the same method multiple time if you have a method created like this and inside the method let's say you have written all the business logic you can reuse you can recall the method wherever you want whenever you create an account or opportunity or contact or whatever you can reuse this method wherever you want so we as a developer write class and inside the class we write, it, write multiple methods and each method is uh, is used to hold the business logic correct to think in this way i was just reading this example somewhere and uh, that's very meaningful right so it has been written like this that class you can think like a like a house where you know the entire house is nothing but a class and your house is having the dining room the hall the kitchen the sitting area and uh, so and so right so all this dining kitchen living room all these are methods so your dining room your kitchen your living room are there inside your house right the so house is nothing but a class so kitchen you can think in this way right kitchen has a has few attributes what you can go and cook something inside the kitchen living room has some different attributes what maybe you can go and you know watch tv over there study room has a different attributes you can go and study so each and every room has one specific attributes like the same way class has many methods and each method so this method check the duplicate this method do something on the deletion other method do something whenever update happen another method does something whenever let's say a record gets undeleted from the recycle bin got it so every single method have some business logic which will be fired whenever we want okay now if i go back to the requirement that we have drawn i need my this particular method to be executed which hold the business logic to check the duplicate right duplicate leads i want this method to be executed whenever a lead gets created this is where you as a developer first have to write the apex class write the method and write the business logic inside it test it properly and then hook this particular method whenever you create a particular lead so we will be learning something called apex trigger okay apex trigger is something which will help you to hook to fire this particular apex class or method whenever record gets inserted updated or deleted got it so we first have to get ready with the business logic here in the apex class and the method and then we uh, with the help of apex trigger we just have to invoke that method whenever record gets inserted updated or deleted that's all we'll be doing in the apex class apex class is nothing but collection of few methods and each method will have your business logic written by and the methods will be executed will be invoked will be called by your apex trigger or we'll be learning something called batch apex schedule apex which will help you to call this uh, method whenever you want correct right? you need to call the method now once you've done with writing the class and method the method will not not run automatically method is what is is something which will hold the business logic now you have to call this method now calling this method is a different segment where we will use the apex trigger and batch and schedule to call it okay so theoretically this is what apex class and method is okay next video i'm going to tell you all these keywords like what is public what is static and all these things cool see you in the next video